Hi, I'm Maddie Evenson, and I'm going to be showing you guys the chemistry of gel nails and shellac. Okay, so we're starting out with the filing of the nails because it helps balance them. Because if you have them too long and the nail beds are too, not the nail beds, the, um, the free edge of the nail is too long, then it will break and there's a stress point to it. So you have to rebalance them before you can put on the gels of the nail. So here we have the proper balancing or prepping before you put the gel on the nail and you have to get all the dead skin and the debris left over from the other gel nail. And then we move on to the Now gels. we're gonna add the UV activated gel so that the energy can hit the gel. And this is a lighter coat of gel before we put it under the UV light. And you have to get it just right because you can't get it on the cuticle or it makes air bubbles. And then you can get water, moisture, and you can grow mold under your nail. So now we're gonna enter the gels into the UV light. And while this is happening, under the light of the UV rays, the gel is adhering to my nail from the polymerization process going on. The monomers and the oligomers and the photoimitators are hardened after being put into the UV light. Little molecules in the gel are moving everywhere. When they hit the light, they have nowhere to go for something to harden. When the photo in hair hits light, it creates energy, also making the gel harder. When the energy hits the nail, it's so much, not yet, but when you put more gel on there, it gets really hot because there's so much that has to go through the nail to for it to cure onto the nail that it feels like a ton of little hot needles are going through your nail. So the second layer of gel is to help the stress point so it doesn't break, and the stress point is in the middle of your fingernail. So we have the bottom of part of the nail, the middle, and the top. The bottom and the top are the lowest, and then the middle is the highest because that keeps it on so they don't fall off and break off whenever you do that. So then we have the final layer of gel, and you have to make sure that it cures for two minutes. So you put it under the UV light for two minutes so it can fully cure throughout all the other gel that you put on your nail. And the gel is 90% cured. cured. Um, so when it comes out, the tacky layer of the gel is on top. That's why it's sticky. So at the end, why we put the alcohol on, it clears the sticky part of it. The sticky part is there because it's looking for more gel to put on. Um, but we put the alcohol on so it doesn't get sticky anymore. So now the gel is done and we did the final layer and now we're gonna put the alcohol on it so it doesn't stay sticky. It's sticky right now. And after you put the alcohol on, it was smooth <laughs> and it's not sticky anymore. So a little fun fact, don't pick dead skin because then your nail lady will wound you and you'll get, you'll bleed and it, it hurts a little bit. Now we're gonna put on the base coat for shellac. And this has to do with the pH levels um, for shellac. It's a totally different kind of nail polish and it'll, ex again. it'll explain it more um, on my website about why it's different from regular nail polish. It's way too much to get into right now, but um, so we have to put this on first before we can put on the actual nail polish shellac. And I'm doing pink. Like the gels, you have to do the base coat for the shellac for 10 seconds um, for it to set so you can put the shellac nail polish on. So before putting the shellac on, you have to mix up really well because the three components in it have to be mixed up really well to, for it to have a correct bond with the base coat. So we just put the shellac in and it has to be in, the first coat of shellac has to be in for 10 seconds and the second coat of shellac has to be in for two minutes for it to fully cure. So here are all the different ones that you have to put on for shellac. So we start with the base and then we can do the coat twice and then we do the top coat and we just put the top coat on and now we're gonna put it in for two minutes so it can be fully cured and then you put the alcohol on just like you did for the gels and it is finished and dry. And that's the chemistry of gels. I hope you guys enjoyed it.